Hi everyone. In this video, I'll walk you through the boot process of Cisco 2900 series of router. Okay. Here you can look at the indications and also I'll show you the console boot process. So what is the first part? First, I'll power on this Cisco router. So here is a router I powered on and here you can see this system and activity indications and you can see the system is powered on. Okay. So next part is your post. What is this post? Just like your PC, your router also has this post. It checks for your CPU, your memory and interface of the router. And next process, it goes to the bootstrap. What is this bootstrap? I'll show you in the practicals itself. Let's take the console of this router. All right, guys, here you can uh, see the device manager. We have checked for the COM. So it is connected by COM5. So go here to your putty software, serial, COM5, enter. All right, guys, here you can see your system is uh, trying to bootstrap. So system bootstrap. So the version you can see and this is your bootstrap process that is it's nothing but basically your bootstrap initialize basic hardware and locate the ios image okay and then after that your ios loading will be happening that means self decompressing of the image so the bootstrap finds the ios image in the flash memory and then decompresses it into ram this can take up to few seconds let's see see this is your ios image load test so your ios is loading and it's self decompressing the image okay once this is done then it will come to configuration loading so once the ios is loaded the router looks for the startup configuration in nvram if it's not found directly it will go to the setup mode if it's found it will apply the configurations okay after that there you can see we have got this user execution mode so now you can give the commands whatever you want to give okay all right guys so that's the cisco um, routers boot process so in short I'll tell you first we have to power it on then it goes to post then bootstrap then it will find the iOS image and it will try to load it on the RAM in the NVRAM if your startup configuration is present then it will load it if not it will directly go to configuration mode okay so thank you for watching this video stay tuned for upcoming more networking labs and demos thank you